Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our Messiah Season 1 Thoughts video. I just finished watching the first season of Messiah on Netflix, and I'm just going to be sharing my general thoughts on the first season. I will be getting into spoilers for it, so if you haven't seen the season yet, you might not want to might want to tune out for this one. But yes, yeah, so Messiah is a new series from Netflix. It follows a, a character who everybody in the world seems to believe is the Messiah, and he doesn't correct anybody about it throughout the series. And we follow a CIA operative of Eva who's investigating, trying to prove that he's not actually the Messiah. And we follow his pretty much his events across America for the most part in this season um, while he kind of spreads his message uh, well a lot of people follow him and we kind of investigate that through a few different perspectives one being a reverend who um, whose family he has kind of joined or who joined with him and following him um, and so yes this whole first season just kind of follows that and seeing how the world kind of reacts to the idea of a person or a messiah a character or person coming into our current day um so yeah this show got me pretty hooked right away it did take me a little time to get through all the episodes because it was a little bit of a roller coaster about my interest in this it started off pretty high until i realized well there's one or two solutions he either is the messiah or he isn't so i was almost tempted to hop to the last episode after watching the first episode because i was a curious if this was a a limited series if we were only getting with one season or if this was going to be kind of set up as a multiple season thing where we're you know exploring this guy and you know never fully finding out the answer so that kind of kept me being like oh, am I gonna well, binge this whole thing that's why I didn't rush through it because uh yeah it did give me this kind of feeling of like okay sometimes I was going with it but it did also do a good job of keeping me kind of hooked and keeping me interested that I hadn't found an answer on my own uh, but the fact that it does kind of only have like kind of one of two answers either is the messiah type either is the messiah or a messiah type character or he's a fraudster um is kind of the way i've not i guess those aren't the only two options but kind of the way sometimes i felt during this season was that was kind of the only key thing keeping me interested was learning whether he was a voter or not um they but yes they did a good job throughout the season though of keeping me still like never giving me a definitive answer one way or another there's always things where like the things that are um you know proof that he's a fraud or things that you could be like well that just proves that he's human not necessarily that he isn't what he, he's not even claim because again he doesn't necessarily claim that he's the messiah he says that he's bringing in a message from god and uh that you know in a sense he's just the words he's not as much the um uh He's not, he never does, he doesn't ever actually say he's the Messiah. So that's one thing I gotta make clear is that he just kind of, but he doesn't really correct anybody. He always gives these kind of, you know, like he always, uh, what's it called? Skirts the answer or whatever you want to call it. Like when somebody asks him, he gets asked at one point in the season, are you the Messiah? And he doesn't really answer the question one way or another. And it's just like, well, that's what they like to call me. And it's like, well, you didn't answer if you are him or not. Um, so that I like that they did a good job do, giving us that balance of being like, is he a con man? Is he the real Messiah? He can walk on water, but he, he also went to college with this guy. Um, so yeah, I thought they did a good job with that, but at the same time, that was the main thing I was interested in this. Everything else kind of just kind of fell to the wayside almost. Uh, not that the characters weren't interested in, but the question of, is this guy a messiah or not, was the main thing that I cared about for watching this. But overall, it's still um, kind of a fun exploration of seeing actually how these different characters interpret um, this messiah character or the idea of a messiah character coming into uh, modern day and, you know, how each of them, you know, each of their different viewpoints and how they, you know, see it and see his, you know, his place in the world and where they even fit. And so I really enjoyed that, you know, the thought provoking nature of the show uh, and its relation to you know religion and faith and stuff like that so that part I thought it did a really good job of um, but uh, and so like overall I did enjoy it I would actually um, um, okay getting into the ending of this season is the part where I'm a little like this depends on whether they're planning to do more seasons of it if this is a first season of multiple seasons 
it was a great ending because it's a really great way of kind of leaving it open for us to, you know, get to the next season on a big cliffhanger, but just being a, a momentary, you know, pause in a sense in the story as we go between seasons. But if this is supposed to be the whole series, that I got a little bit of a problem with because we never get a definitive answer one way or another with this. And I get there's sometimes you can leave it ambiguous, uh, but it's also I felt that this is the if this is the whole series and this is how they want to tell their story and leave it ambig this this ambiguous in this story in this uh, the, uh, this story then that I'd be a little bit less okay with overall like I said I still enjoyed the season uh, and I would like to see a second season and get more into this world this more this idea and dive deeper into whether he actually is is he not does it really matter in the context of this world and all those different things so. Yes, overall, I did enjoy the first season. I would like there to be a second season. If there's not, I'll be slightly less impressed with this first with this series as a limited series because uh, I I feel like leaving it ambiguous almost takes away from what they're going for. But I guess what they're going for was that ambiguity of what if. So uh, maybe it's just my own personal bias of wanting a definitive answer in a TV show sometimes. But yes, that's all overall my thoughts on this first season uh, slash maybe the only season of Messiah. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the first season. Are you curious to see the uh, second season? Do you think this first season is the only uh, part of this or the whole series will be getting? I'm curious to hear everybody's, everybody else's thoughts on that. But yes, thanks again for joining me today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and have a good one.